The short answer to this question, do aquariums need air pumps, is no. But you might need one, depending on your aquarium. Welcome to the world of aquariums, and if you want to know if you should get one, stay tuned to find out. Hey guys, hope everyone's doing well. For today's video, I would like to talk about one of the most used equipments and supplies for most aquariums, the air pump. Essentially what it does is that it increases the amount of dissolved oxygen in the water itself, which the fish absorb through their gills. These also come in a range of sizes and shapes, depending on their brands, so that there will always be one, big or small enough, for the tank you have. However, contrary to popular belief, the bubbles itself doesn't oxygenate the water, as they rise too fast and are too big. It's when the bubbles break the water surface, which provides oxygen into the aquarium. With this covered, we now know that by simply breaking the water surface and creating water movement, it will increase gas exchange and oxygenate the water. But at the same time, other equipment such as filters and wave makers or power heads also break the water surface while doing other jobs as well. So why do we still use air pumps? Well, there is no downside of putting more oxygen into your aquarium as it will only make your fish more active and healthier. Think about it this way, it's a lot harder to exercise and you wouldn't want to move around when you can't breathe as much. Another benefit of more oxygen in the water is that it lessens the chance of oxygen depletion which is a major killer of fish both in aquariums and in natural waterways. Common signs of this occurring in your aquarium is that your fish will struggle to breathe and would be a lot more sluggish, gasp quickly for air near the surface and have increased gill movements. Compared to the other pieces of equipment that causes surface agitation, air pumps don't create as strong of a water current. This is great for certain fish that don't like a lot of current as it will stress them out. Likewise, most large tanks or fully stocked tanks such as a lot of African cichlid tanks and aquarium store tanks would not have enough oxygen by just relying on the filter, and these would need additional surface agitation through other means. Air pumps are highly recommended for these tanks, as they are cheap and just a fraction of the cost compared to you losing all your fish. Another role that air pumps are used for is for decoration purposes. Air curtains and a lot of plastic ornaments are connected to an air pump, as a lot of people like the looks that it creates and enjoying seeing the fish swimming in the bubbles. So now that we have gone through situations where air pumps are highly recommended, here are some reasons why it is not needed. Filters should be in all gram tanks, and because water gets pumped or flows out near the surface, this creates water movement and absorbs more oxygen into the water. For the lot of tanks, this is already enough depending on your fish stock and filter size. But if your tank shows any indicators of oxygen depletion, then you will know it's not enough. Most medium to high tech planted tanks don't use air pumps. In fact, so far I haven't seen one which has. This is because the airline, air stone, and the bubbles create an undesired effect which a lot of people find ruining the natural state of the tank. Additionally, with so many plants that produce oxygen in the daytime, there should be enough oxygen and air pumps are not needed. So in conclusion, we now know that air pumps are not needed for most tanks, and other equipments will do the same job. However, there is no downside of including air pumps for any tanks, as it's better if you do than don't. If you enjoyed watching this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the World of Aquariums, as it will help me out a lot. Thanks for watching.